Welcome to Violin Adventures number 53. We got a lot accomplished this week, so let's get right to it. First, we got to see what was in that box. Okay, here's what was inside that box last week. We have a bow that needs a rehair, and we have a violin. This is an old friend, this violin. Let's see what year it was made. 2004. Um, so this is one of my violins, and it now belongs to Maestro Michael Newman. He's had this for a long time, and so I'm going to take it down and give it a new facelift. Checking it out. Taking the fingerboard off. There it goes. The next morning. Next morning. Time for the first coat.
going forward on the harp. Okay, while our violin is drying, we're going to get going on the soundboard of the harp, which uses the same type of varnish to seal it and to allow the vibrations to still go up and down the soundboard. So we have here a beautiful piece of spruce with very tight, even grain. Now we are gluing on the base bar. Okay, now I'm varnishing the shell of the harp. And this is made out of local cherry. And I, I like to varnish everything ahead of time before I put it together. And the cherry is so pretty that I don't put any color in the varnish. Well, I'll just let the natural color come through. I'll have to show this to you as soon as I get done here. It's so beautiful. There, see that beautiful grain? And on this side, there's even some flame in the wood there on the side. So this is, this is so beautiful. Time for a little touch up on our little gouge here. We need some more water. Much better, much better. It's cutting it nice and clean now. Okay, and I'll do a couple more coats on that later. A couple weeks ago, I had a little project I was doing in the evening, and I really enjoyed it. I'll show it to you here. So this is a rigid heddle table loom, and I am making a scarf for the first time on this loom. I sped the process up, but this was very enjoyable and rewarding, and the scarf came out looking very nice.
working on the new violin. Scraping the violin adds so much tiny dust, I decided to go outside, the day was beautiful, and scrape outside. Here's our pile of spruce chips. We've finished the top. There it is. And it's been scraped. So our next task is to turn it over and do the inside. Okay, it's the end of the week. We're getting ready for another little rain, so it's just a little bit humid today. Let's look inside, see where we're at. Here's the shop. Here's our stand right here. We have another zither that needs just a little bit of repair. Over here is the special Michael Newman violin and it's had one coat of varnish so far. Here's our new violin. We have the top all smoothed out. We just need to work on the inside. There's been big improvement on the scroll. It's cleaned up. We've got the peg box opened up and it just needs some more work. We need to attach a fingerboard and get this cleaned up. Here's our back, ready to go. Over here is our harp department. And it looks like we have all the pieces ready. So next week we can start drilling the holes for the strings on the soundboard and, and then drilling on the neck to get the pegs in and then we'll almost be ready to put it together. Ze ani kara vahashem shamea omi kol zarotaif hoshio. This poor or humble man calls and the Lord hears him and from all his trouble or distress he saves him, he delivers him, or he makes him victorious. Thank you so much for watching, for your thumbs up and your comments. I really appreciate it. Until next time, God bless you. Bye.